So what does numpad period do in Blender? It focuses on your selection. It fits it to the view. You can bind this to anything you want. That's, that's besides the point. But it always fits your selection to the view. Right? Now what happens when you are in edit mode? If I select this face again, it also fits it to the view. No problems so far. What do you think happens when you press it in sculpt mode? So let's try it out. Huh, does it really fit it to the view, does it? So what numpad period does in sculpt mode is it centers your last stroke. So if I press it now, so it doesn't zoom in, it doesn't zoom out. It, all it does is center. And this is completely understandable because what if you made a tiny little stroke and you press numpad period, it would otherwise do this, right? So that's pretty useless for a sculpt mode. So it makes sense that it only centers it. However, I often miss the ability to be able to frame the entire object. So what I end up doing is switching to object mode, pressing numpad period, so I can frame the object that I'm working on, and then I go back to sculpt mode. It's not that big of a deal. I actually made a script that automates that process. Hey, so what's the problem exactly? Well, this only works because the resolution of the mesh is super low. But for example, if I add a multi-res modifier and give it a single subdivision level. There we go. Now let's try doing my mode toggling again. So let's just pretend I was sculpting a little area right here and I want to zoom out. Sure, we can do it manually, but my method of going to object mode, numpad period, and then going back in, doesn't really work anymore. It falls apart and it's just too laggy. That single subdivision level makes it unusable. Well, what's so wrong about zooming out manually and just panning the view like this? Well, there's nothing wrong with that, but imagine if that was your solution every time you wanted to uh, frame your object. It's really nice to be able to press a single button and frame an object to the view, regardless of what mode you're in. So I just wish I could do that more easily in sculpt mode as well. Hopefully, here's where you come in. So there's a website or a subcategory, I guess, called right click select. And this is where people propose new ideas for Blender. And a lot of the features that Blender has today have come from proposals on this website. But here's the cool part. You don't need to have the most upvotes or you don't need one of the Blender developers themselves to take the time to add your new feature. In fact, last time I made a proposal, I only got like 11 upvotes, I think and some random community member who knew how to code thought it was simple enough and he submitted it to the developers. There's another website for that. They thought it was a good idea and now it's part of Blender. But we're not gonna talk about old proposals. I wanna talk about the new one. So what you can do, hopefully, if you think this is a good enough proposal, is simply click the upvote button. I believe you do need an account for that, but as far as I can tell, I've never been um, spammed by the right-click select Blender website. And even if you don't care about my proposal, there's a lot of other ideas here that could be benefited by your upvote because it helps keep them near the top and it helps bring attention to them. And that's pretty much it. So even if you're not sculpting at the moment or you don't even use Blender in the first place, it's hard to say exactly where you'll end up one day, and this could still benefit you at some point in the future. And if this proposal was accepted today, which it will not be, but if it was, it would still take several months for it to be added to Blender. So that's another thing to consider. Anyhow, thanks for all the time that you've already given me.